He thought he was getting help to read his computer off malicious software. Instead, the 79-year-old lost $173,000, more than half his life savings, in just 15 minutes. On April 17, Mr. Tan, not his real name, received an antivirus pop-up alert warning him of malware being detected on his device. Alarmed, he called the support helpline displayed on the notification. Over the next three hours, Mr. Tan granted the person on the other end of the call, who claimed to be an officer from the Singapore Police Cybercrime Department, remote access to his computer. Believing the call was legitimate, he also handed over login details for his DBS, UOB and OCBC internet banking accounts. Then the real DBS bank called to inquire about transactions he made. It dawned on Mr. Tan that he had been speaking with a scammer who had siphoned $173,000 from his bank accounts within 15 minutes. He has made a police report. Investigations are ongoing. In the first four months of 2024, at least 150 Singapore residents fell for technical support scams, notes the police. Total losses amount to more than $15.1 million. Tech support scams have targeted users across computing devices including desktops, laptops and tablets, says Mr. Jeffrey Chin, Deputy Director of the Scam Public Education Office, Operations Department, Singapore Police Force SPF. Both Windows and Mac OS users are at risk. He warns. The pop-up alerts often look like legitimate error messages, claiming to be from well-known companies like Microsoft or Apple. So how can one identify if it's a scam attempt? Mr. Dennis Chang, Chief Security Officer at Microsoft Singapore, says legitimate companies typically won't initiate unsolicited contact through pop-up notifications. He advises people to familiarize themselves with how their software providers offer support and collect payment. For example, Microsoft error and warning messages never include phone numbers. If unsure, check the official website for contact information. You should also avoid installing unknown applications, especially those from unofficial sources. Mr. Chang adds, only use legitimate software downloaded from trusted sources, such as the official website of the developer or a reputable app store.